I just want to show you a real quick tip for anybody who has a vintage Airstream that has these manual stabilizers underneath and you get to the campsite and you've got to use one of these to crank it, especially if it's rusted. Um, just a lot of extra work that you don't have to do. I'll show you how to make a power stabilizer for about a hundred bucks. I bought this off of Home Depot. This is an impact wrench and it's good for taking lugs off. I use it all the time, especially when I'm bringing home another Airstream, which I've been prone to do. Uh, in case there's any issues with the tires, I have to change the tire inside the road somewhere. These are really good for that. Don't confuse impact wrench with impact driver. And don't try to use the impact driver taking off lugs or using it on your stabilizer, especially if it's arrested. If these are really greased and work really easily, you might be able to get by with the impact driver. But I'm going to show you the impact wrench and why it's so handy for this. So I've got the right size socket on there. That's up. This one's rusty, that's why it's so noisy. Let me try it on the other one. And that's it. So I bought it off of Home Depot for about a hundred. You should be able to pick one up for a hundred to 150. Comes with a charger and a battery, impact wrench. Any, any cordless brand should work for these. And that's my advice for getting power to your stabilizers on your vintage Airstream.